welcome to our, uh, our Periscope listeners and our Periscope uh, followers. This is something brand new to us. You're tuned in to another edition of the Bible Radio Show, The Truth Hour, here on POET Radio. We televise live. Every Tuesday night, brothers and sisters, at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you happen to miss the lesson at 7 p.m. or you come in and you didn't get the full beginning of the show, you can go back on www.talkshoe.com forward slash TC forward slash 98696. Or you can go to YouTube and type in The Bible Show Truth Hour, brothers and sisters. The Bible Show Truth Hour, and go back and get all of these lessons. We are live now if you want to call in and listen to our show. The number is 724-444-7444. That being said, our topic today, Brother Julius, is the one and only true religion of God. Again, the one and only true religion. Religion of God. I got a question for you. I got a question for you, brothers and sisters. Is it Islam? Is it Christianity? Is it Judaism? Judaism? Is it the various factions of Christianity? Is it Catholicism? Agnostic? Apostolic? Baptist? Is it any of those various ones, brothers and sisters? That's what we have to ask ourselves the question. Well, we're about to get to you the answer to that question here on the Bible Radio Show, The Truth Hour. This is part one of the one and only true religion of God. Mm. We're going to start this off, Brother Julius, in the book. Let's go to Black Guys. Let's go to uh, the beginning. We're going to go to the beginning, brothers and sisters. Let's go to the beginning. And we want to welcome all of our callers in from Alaska, Alabama, Michigan, Chicago, and other places who are called in to the show. We want to welcome our Periscope listeners who are um, logged in via Periscope. Uh -huh. And, of course, our YouTube listeners that's going to call in. Our subject today is the one and only true relig religion of God. Uh -huh. The one and only true religion of God. <laughs> what is it? Well, let's find it out. Let's go to the beginning, Brother Julius. Genesis chapter 1, Black Ice. And we're going to uh, start this from the beginning. We're going to show you the creation and the purpose of the creation while we go through this lesson. Uh -huh. We're going to even go to the creation of man. Make sure you get your Bibles, brothers and sisters, because we want you to question everything that we speak on this show. Absolutely. It's not of our own mind. It's not of our own belief. It's not... Of any of those things, brothers and sisters, it's what's written in this book. Uh -huh. You're going to be educated in the Word of God before you lead the Bible radio show Truth Hour on Tuesdays. Let's do it, Brother Julius. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1. Let's go, bro. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. When was the beginning? We don't know. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. say. It doesn't matter. When it, whenever it was, it was. Read it again, I see. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And so God created the heaven and the earth to be occupied. Mm. Let's skip all the way down, black guys. Uh -huh. Let's skip all the way down to verse uh, mm, 26. And so God created the heaven, the earth, all the uh, uh, inhabitants. Uh, inhabitants thereof, the mm -hmm. sun, stars, moon, and everything in the waters, on the earth, and in the sea, sisters and brothers. So skip down. Now let's look at. Verse 26. Verse 26, and it reads. And this was done on the sixth day. Go ahead, Ice. And God said, let us make man in our image uh -huh. after our likeness. Yes. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Yes. And over the fowl of the air. Yes. And over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image after his own likeness and made him supervisor over all of his creation. You just read in verse 26, everything in the creation that God made, whether it's creeping, whether it's flying, whether it's walking, whether it's swimming, that covers everything, black guys. Uh -huh. Continue at verse 27. So God created man in his own image. Yes. In the image of God created he him. Male yes. Male and female created he them. And God created male and female. We call it mankind. Or now we don't got technical black guys. We call it humankind. 
Well, what do we learn right here, Brother Julius, in learning something on the way to learning something? Uh-huh. What is the male called? Man. Man. What is the female called? Woman. So, brothers and sisters, both are man. Man is the species. Male and female are the gender. So, when God created man, brothers and sisters, that included both. Brother so, Julius. why did he create male and female, black guys? Continue to read at verse 28. Verse Go ahead. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. Wait a minute, multiply? Yes. That means yes, have sir. children. Come on, ice. And replenish the earth. So, therefore, it takes a male and a female to replenish the earth, right? And actually, it not only takes a male and a female to replenish the earth, uh -huh. it also takes something that was here that's no longer here in order for you to be asked to do again what was once done because the prefix re means uh -huh. to do again. Right. I want you to fill up this earth again, replenish it, and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea. Dominate it. And over the fowl of the air. Yes. And over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Okay, fine. Skip down to verse 31 and let's go. Verse 31, Genesis 1 and 31. And God saw everything that he had made and behold, it was good. Very good. It was what? Very good. Uh-huh. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So when you read Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2, the earth was not created void or uh, formless. It became that it way. It became that way. Mm. Let's go to Genesis chapter 2 and work our way down. Right? Brothers and sisters, and we want you to know that Genesis chapter 2, brothers and sisters, is actually a continuation of Genesis chapter 1. Right. And actually, brothers and sisters, the beginning of the second chapter, if you want to be technical, begins at verse 4. Now, remember, man didn't have no... Numbers and no separations uh -huh. when these things were written on, on the scrolls. So actually, the first four verses of Genesis chapter 2 can be attached to the whole chapter of Genesis chapter 1. Where do uh, you want to start at? Verse 1. Go verse ahead. 1. Yes. Thus the heavens. Thus the heavens. All three there of is them, more than one. Read about them in Genesis chapter 1 about what the firmament was called. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and I mean, all the host of them. More than one heaven, but still only one earth, and all the host of them, ice. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, uh -huh. and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. Skip down to verse 4 and continue. Now here's the actual beginning, brothers and sisters, yes. of the new chapter, although man has put it as number 4. These are the generations uh -huh. of the heavens. And the earth, when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. So I can find all three heavens in Genesis, the first chapter. You can. Wow. And I do mean three. Another lesson, another time. Something for you to meditate on. Continue, Black Eyes, verse 5. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth. Uh -huh. And every herb of the field before it grew. Right. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth. And what? And there was not a man to till the ground. So Genesis chapter 1 is a blueprint of the creation. Uh -huh. So now, let's bring forth the man now. Now here we go, brothers and sisters. And again, our lesson plan today is the one and only true religion uh -huh. of God. <laughs> Remember, a man was responsible for naming everything. So he's the one that gave you the name Islam. He's the one who gave you the name Judaism. He's the one who gave you the name Christianity. Which one is it, brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. What did Jehovah's Witnesses say that it's them? The Baptists say that they got it. The Agnostics say that they got it. The Pentecostal Church say that they got it. Which one is it? Well, let's find out. Genesis 2. Genesis 2 and continue. Let's look at, at verse 7, Black Eyes. Genesis 2 and 7. Uh -huh. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Right. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. No, uh, a soul was put into man. Brother Julius, it said God breathed into the, in, into the man's nostrils. Right. What did he put in his nostrils? He put in his nostrils his spirit, which is, which is man's breath. 
which is called the breath of life. Now, if he put the spirit inside of what the body calls a soul uh -huh. and the soul became alive, then the question that I have for you, Brother Julius, yes. is before he put his spirit inside of the soul right. and the soul became alive, what kind of soul was it before he put his spirit in it? According to Ezekiel, the 18th chapter, verses 4 and verse 20, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. So therefore, because souls die, before he had any breath or the spirit of God in him, he was a dead soul. Brothers and sisters, soul means nothing but body or flesh, brothers and sisters. Like, have you ever seen anybody suffering? They ain't got no money, no you place to live. You look at that person, soul. you say, that poor soul, but you're looking at the whole person. On the airplane that crashes, they say, well, 157 souls died. So souls die. Spirit don't die, but souls die, brothers and sisters, according to the word of God. So black eyes, when somebody exhale, they don't draw their last breath. The breath leaves the body. That's the spirit that God put in the nostrils of man. Because spirit don't die. Because it's air. You can't see it. So what should we be saying, brother Julius? We should be saying mind, soul, and spirit. Or mind, body, and spirit. Same another thing. lesson for another time. But we wow. just wanted to unlock those things for you. For you to think about those things. We're going to go ahead and pick this up, Brother Julius. Verse 8, Black Eyes. Verse 8. Verse 8. Yep. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. Uh -huh. And there he put the man whom he had formed. So the Lord created the man. Everything created the man. Made him supervise over his creations. And put him in the garden of Eden. To dress it and to keep it. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Watch this, black guys. Pay attention. Read this slow, brother, because we got some trees here. But we have a couple of trees that are not physical trees. Read it. And out of the ground. Out of the what? And out of the ground. Where did man come from? The ground. Go ahead. The Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life, which is Jesus. It don't say it was planted. Mm -hmm. It's just something separate. Everything else was good for food. Physical food. Go ahead. And then there's a separation there, brothers and sisters, uh -huh. in the scripture. It says the tree of life, which we know is Jesus. Also. Also in the midst of the garden, uh -huh. the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which wow. is none other than Satan the devil. Well, how do you know that, Black Ice? Brothers and sisters, we're going to tell you about that in part two of our lesson. For those who are listening via YouTube, today's lesson is the one and only True religion of God. Mm. We're going to find out the answer to that question. What religion is it, brothers and sisters? Mm. Stay tuned for part two of the Bible radio show, The Truth Out.